Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. In today's video, I will give you guys a quick introduction to Linux and I'm going to show you how to use some very useful introductory Linux commands using a terminal window. Now, just to be clear, this is a course for beginners who want to learn how to use commands on a Linux terminal. Now, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Linux at all, let's give you a quick perspective. Linux is not Unix. Unix was created by a bunch of AT&T employees in uh, 1969. Linux was written by a name, by a guy named Linus Trovald, who created the entire thing by himself and released it around 1991. Now, Linux is a powerful operating system, but it is especially designed for server systems and 90% of the world's fastest computers, like supercomputers, run on some form of Linux. And this is because it's a rock-solid system. Okay, so that was a quick uh, history on Linux. Um, that was just to give you a perspective. Now, Linux and Unix are different. Just remember that. Now, one more thing before we dive in. Linux comes in many different varieties, which are called distros or distributions. In this tutorial, we will use the popular Ubuntu distribution of Linux. But there are others out there as well, such as Fedora, Mint, and Debian, and more. Even Android is a Linux distribution. So the basic commands we will, rerun, we will be running and learning today can be generally used on almost all different Linux distributions. All right, so let me go ahead and launch Linux. And I just want to let you know, I'm running Linux on my Windows. So what you do is you install VirtualBox, which is right here. So let me launch that. And inside of VirtualBox, you can install any operating system possible. So I have put Ubuntu Linux inside of VirtualBox on my Windows 7 machine. Okay, so let me uh, run this up. And I just want to let you know, you can actually find a link in the description below which tells you how to uh, install VirtualBox and Linux on, on your Windows 7 if you want to go ahead and do that but this is the Ubuntu Linux that is launching right now okay so here you're looking at Ubuntu Linux and uh, before we dive into the commands I'm gonna show you something real quick what you're seeing here all these icons, all this desktop, all these nice graphical features. This is called the GUI, G-U-I. This is called the Graphical User Interface. Now, we're not worried about that today. What we're worried about is the CLI, which is called the Command Line Interface. So you have to launch a terminal to go into the Command Line Interface. And then once you um, search for an app, you can type in Terminal which brings up the terminal right here and then you can actually click that and that is the terminal we will be working with alright so the first command we will be looking at today is the PWD command oops it's not typing okay PWD command PWD command stands for print working directory so when I press enter it actually tells me which directory I am currently located at. So if I go to my uh, folder browser, um, I am actually in home Saki, which is right here. So I'm looking at all these guys on my command prompt. Now the second command I want to show you guys is the ls command. When you press ls, it gives you a listing of everything which is in the current directory. So the current directory is the Saki directory, which is my username, and we are under home. Inside of home, I've got all these guys. So I've got the desktop, downloads, music, public, videos. And if you come over here, that's all the same stuff you're going to see in a regular file explorer. So here's the desktop, documents, downloads, music same stuff that you see here so that is the ls command it's it's it stands for list 
and when you list it lists whatever is inside of your current directory again PWD stands for print working directory so it tells you where you are currently located in now as you can see when you have a pretty graphical user interface you can see everything right in front of you but if you have a command line interface like this one a terminal you're not going to be able to see anything so if I clear this that's all you see so you have no idea where you are okay so to see where you are PWD to see what you have at where you are you type in list now the next command I'm going to show you is called the CD command and CD command has a lot of variations CD is used for navigation so let's say I want to go to the uh, downloads folder how do I go there I type in CD and I type in downloads the name of the folder and just remember everything has to be exactly as it appears so the, 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 in, in Linux everything is case sensitive so this cannot be a, 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 a small D it has to be capitalized just like it is here okay so if I type in CD downloads now I am in the downloads folder okay and how do I know I'm in downloads folder PWD it actually tells you right here so I'm in home slash Saki slash downloads okay and let's see what we have in downloads right now type in list and there's nothing in downloads so let's uh, launch this again go to downloads and as you can see downloads directory is actually empty okay so if it is empty you're not gonna see anything here now let's say I wanna go back to my home directory my Saki directory how do I go back so CD takes you into a folder and if you want to go out what you do is you type in CD space two dots and that takes you back to the previous directory that you were focused on now if you want to go to the root directory which is like um, in, in Windows it's like the C directory what you type is CD forward slash make sure you put the space okay so CD space forward slash press enter and that's gonna take you to the root directory let's type in LS and as you can see the root directory has much more than your user directory okay again but home and Saki is inside of root root is at the top of everything so if you look around carefully you'll see the home directory sitting in the root directory and if you go in there CD home and you type in LS you will see your username okay and then CD Saki then you type in LS and now you're back over here this and this match so remember this will take you to the root of your Linux operating system and inside of root you've got all kinds of fancy things that you don't want to worry about right now so let's do a quick recap let's go to the music folder CD music so I'm now in the music folder or the directory I'm gonna be using the the word folder and directory interchangeably interchangeably and they're gonna be mean be meaning the same exact thing okay so in here let's type in PWD so that means print print working directory and it tells you that you are in fact focused on the music folder again if you go over here here's the music folder if you go to home here's the music folder okay it's empty let's type in LS to see if it is really empty it is in fact empty so next I'm gonna show you how to copy or move a file so let's go back CD space dot dot takes us back and do an LS and let's say I wanna go into the documents folder so I type in CD documents and then type in LS and here what I have is I have a test file so this is one of the files what I wanna do what I want to do is I want to copy this file 
and I'm going to use the CP command for that. That stands for copy. I'm going to copy this test file and I'm going to paste it into the same folder with a different name. So test copy. And I'm going to press enter. Okay, just to give you, make you understand exactly what happened. So use the copy command. You pick the file that you're trying to copy and then you give it a brand new name to create the copy within the same folder. Okay, so if I type in ls now, you have the first file test and then you've got test copy. Now, how do I remove this file? You use the rm command. Okay, so the rm command is used to delete a file in your current folder. So if you type in rm test copy and you type in ls as you can see test copy is gone and we only have test left over now what if I want to copy test file and I want to paste it into the downloads folder how do you do that okay what you gotta do is you have to type in CP and you take the test file and then you have to tell the computer where do you want to put the copy of the test file? So remember, if you go up here, we're working under home slash Saki. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to do slash home slash Saki slash downloads. And you press enter and type in ls. We still have the test file right here. Now let's go back, cd dot dot, type in ls, and let's navigate to the downloads folder. And if I type in ls here, now we've got the, the file test sitting here, which we copied over from the documents folder. So let's go ahead and remove this file from the downloads folder. So rm is the remove command, rm test. And remember, because we are focused into downloads, when we do rm test, it's gonna do, it's gonna delete the test file only from the downloads folder because that is where we are focused on. Press enter, type in list one more time, ls, and now there's nothing there left. So let's go back. Let's just type in pwd, and we're back in home socket. Okay, next, next uh, let's talk about making a new folder and deleting a new folder. So let me launch this right here and I'm going to minimize, I'm going to make this a little thinner here. Okay, so you can still see what's going on. One second. All right, so that's better. So let's go to my, um, my documents over here and let's go to CD documents oops documents okay so now we're in the documents folder and all we have in here is the test file which you can see right here let's make a new folder so how do you make a new folder you use the command called mkdir press enter and it's gonna say some kind of error because we were missing an operand okay so we were missing the new directory we use the command but we did not specify the name of the directory so you type in mkdir dir and then you type in test folder I'm gonna use capital letters here okay and as you can see over here a test folder was created instantly and I can actually go into that test folder if I wanted to ls and there's nothing in there so let's go back cd dot dot and let's delete the test folder so how do you delete that what you do is you use in the com you use the command rmdir so this one is make directory this one is remove directory type in test folder and I'm not gonna press enter take a look over here let's come back here and press enter and that directory disappears now if the directory had something inside it we cannot delete the directory that has stuff in it 
using rmdir. Okay, so let's uh, mkdir make another directory in the documents folder and say test. Okay, so it popped up right here. And let's go inside here and let's just create a new document. Okay, new doc. Now if I try to delete this using rmdir test folder, let's go back here. Okay, so now the test folder has a file in it. It is the new doc. Okay, if I try to delete this, it's going to say failed to remove test directory is not empty. So how do you delete this? You have to actually use the rm command which is the remove command for files but what you do is you have to set a new option you have to say minus R and then you have to type in test okay so watch this there's still a file in here but it's just gonna disappear okay so everything in test has been removed so this is how you delete folders that have existing files inside of them you use the rm command you put a space you put a minus r and then you put a space and then you put the name of the directory right underneath uh, right next to minus r okay so here it's gotten really messy here so you, let's use the clear command to clear the screen real quick and i'm going to talk about a couple other commands and we're going to end the tutorial here all right, so the final command I want to go over is called the man command, okay, M-A-N. Now, this stands for manual, manuals, okay, like, uh, like tutorials. So, when you don't know what you're doing and you want to find out more about any command that you're using, you can type in man space and let's just say the ls command, which is the list command. And you press enter it's gonna give you a whole lot of information regarding the ls command so you're gonna get the name of the command which is ls it says list directory contents okay you get a quick synop synopsis you get a description of what the command exactly does and all that stuff and once you're done reading this whole thing you just type key q to quit okay so let's do one more man and let's do the cp command which is the copy command press enter and it says here it copies files and directories okay and you have a description here and you can read through this whole thing and you can keep pressing enter to get more information so press enter to continue okay to go all the way but when you're done you can press Q and it just quits the manual so that's how you can get information on any command that you want in Linux. All right, and thank you for watching this video. Now, there are going to be more Linux tutorials uh, coming soon. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Okay, so you have all these options. All links to my social media websites and my actual website are found in the description below. Alright, thanks for watching again and I'll see you the next time.